Hey all, Steve here. Uh, hanging out in the man cave, the pink man cave. Yeah, the walls are pink. Uh, anyhow, uh, I thought I would make a video today about, you know, bands or records or what have you that if I hear one, I think of the other. And a lot of times I, I listen to both those albums and uh, I thought it was going to be a good idea. So, yeah, sometimes these albums, they either I get, got them on a dub cassette, like one of those TDKs or uh, Maxwell, or one album's on one side and the other album's on the other side of it. And, you know, and they get become connected in your head uh, when you hear certain things around the same time period. If that makes any sense. A lot of these also as well is ones I would pick up in the record store um, at the same time and others are friends playing me a record and would listen to another one right after that and somehow they got connected that way so anyway without me rambling on and going over why this what this is about I'll just go through it I'll start off with the first one. Um, the first time I heard Thrash Metal. The first time I heard Thrash Metal. It's actually a set that uh, I wanted this, my buddy to record this on. Uh, Judas Priest, uh, Defenders of Faith. And uh, I handed him a cassette and he said, well, what do you want on the other side? I didn't know at the time, so he said, well, how about I put this out on it? Metallica Red Lightning. Um, first time I ever heard Metallica at that time. To be honest with you, uh, being that young, I just really, really wanted to hear this. This sounded like a bunch of screaming nonsense when I was a kid. But I believe one night uh, I, I was just feeling lazy. Didn't want to sit there and wait for the cassette to rewind, so I just flipped this over. And probably towards the middle of Fight Fire with Fire, it started clicking, but it really got me with uh, the title track, Ride the Lightning. You know, that guilty is charged, but damn it, it ain't right. Man, this is gold. Anyway, yeah, so uh, first, it's a weird, it's an odd pair, but for some reason, these, if I hear this one, I gotta play this one. Boy, yeah. Boy this is a good idea for you guys. You guys wanna run with it? by all means. And, uh, basically, uh, I think I've said it before, Dark Pass video, uh, a nice pair. It's kind of like a continuation of that. So, these are not in any particular order that I heard them. So, they're going to jump all over my metal journey from beginning in 86 and stemming out to some of these are 98, I believe. So, anything between that area. I'm not going to show too much death metal because I've shown and uh, you guys know. So anyway, so the second, second thing is when I lived in Salt Lake City, Utah, um, hung out with a buddy that uh, introduced me to this, this album and uh, this album. So I heard these albums at the same time and uh, back in the day, you know, bought these cassettes, uh, which is um, I wish I had those cassettes, no, no, but anyway, so Forbidden, Twist Into Form, uh, Badass Thrash Metal, I freaking love this album, this smokes, and of course this is no Thrash Metal, and uh, 1991, 92, I believe is when I heard these two for the first time, fucking love them, Badass shit. So now, actually, I hear this album, I want to hear this album. Oh, another one. And like I said, this is jumping all over the place. I've showed this before, and this was actually in the contest. Uh, my buddies and I listened to this cathedral, the uh, Ethereal Mirror. Is that what it's yeah, the Ethereal Mirror. And Carcass Heartwork. Um, it came out about the same time. Um, I believe we picked these albums up at the same time, drove around Joplin, 
Uh, that's to them in 1993. Yeah, both of them, 1993. Uh, good times. Makes me think of eating pizza, jamming these freaking records out. That's the first time I ever heard Carcass. This is how I got into Carcass, was through hard work. So, that's still way up there on my list of Carcass albums. And then, of course, this Doom Stoner metal. But I used to freaking love the shit out of this album. I still do, actually. Um, every track on it. There's not a bad one on it. But yeah, there's a nice pair go together. Go another one. I remember buying these at the store, the record store at the same time back in 98, but I bought them on CD. Still have my CD, but I like showing the vinyl there. Uh, this is uh, Campbell Corpse getting yeah, suicide, the gallery of suicide, and uh, Morbid Angels, uh, former most fatal to the flesh. Uh, man, I tell you what, these, these albums, every time I hear it, especially I like to run, uh, uh, what's that song, from Skin to Liquid, the instrumental, and uh, I like to play it with uh, an invocation of the continual one. Um, these are freaking gems. Absolutely gems. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, bought these on the same day, so I hear them. I'm making the other. Um, oh, so, cassette. That's back. I remember, I still, I think I still have this cassette. It's a TDC. Um, 45 minute or 90 minute set and uh, my friend recorded this we was playing Mortal Kombat that night I remember and we was playing these two albums uh, Razor um, Violent Restitution and uh, Overkill's uh, Under the Influence uh, Gems these albums are freaking badass and that was back in shoot I was in 8th grade I think so in 1988 listen to these badass motherfuckers and I finally found another copy of this. So I've been listening to that recording. We record back in 88 still. And just now finally getting a copy of this album. Um, of course, I've always had this one. Uh, on, I have this on vinyl, actually. I just got this CD. But uh, yeah, hello from the gutter. You gotta check out a song and you don't know Overkill, what shame on you if you don't. Hello from the gutter. Yeah, a lot of people think this is kind of like uh, overkills. So far, so good. So what? Megadeth moment? Nah, this is badass. And this is some aggressive Canadian thrash. And I believe um, the intro, the martial arts. Listen to the singer scream on that. My gut tells me that's where Danny fell from Cradle. Stole his scream is from this album. I mean, don't don't quote me on that. I, I've never heard that anywhere, but but listen to it, you'll go, oh, damn you, Danny. Anyway, yeah, badass shit. Keep on going. Uh, are these at the same time? Back in '92, so the senior in high school when these came out. Some fish. Um, Bolt Throwers, The Fourth Crusade, and uh, Obituaries, The Incomplete. Uh, both of these records, um, back then it was, it would have been cassette, but both of these records, albums, are gems. Um, so, anytime I hear this stuff, and that's what I'm listening to in the background, <laughs> it's actually a digital pack, because I didn't want to have to flip the album over. But anyway, yeah, can't go wrong with these fuckers. Badass, badass ripping gyms. Reminds me of high school big time. Actually, reminds me of football game, Jop on Eagles. But yeah, here we go. Another one that goes well together. I got a shit on the show. I'll show you this one. This was actually on a cassette. 
probably TBC or Maxwell. Um, this one was on side A and this one was on side B and I want to say 1990, I believe, uh, over kills. Uh, uh, years of decay and uh, obituaries uh, slowly rot. Yeah. And so, like like I said, um, a lot of those ones where I flip the tape over back and forth and listen to both these records about the same time together. So, every time I hear one or another, that's what I got. A fucking mouse in here. Mouse in the man cave. You little fucker. Yeah, I live out in the country, so shit like that happens. Probably happens in the big cities too. Some of y'all from there. Oh, there we go. Closing in on this list. So, first time I ever heard Slayer was on a cassette recorded for me. It was Slayer Show No Mercy. Iron Maiden uh, self-titled and what blows my mind on this I never noticed it before till years later there's a couple of tracks on here that sounds kind of like a couple of tracks on here uh, Cryonics I believe yeah Cryonics really Iron Maiden uh, vibes but yeah these two mountains they go well together in my mind uh, fucking goddamn, this album's so good. Uh, I love Iron Maiden, especially this album. And Slayer, of course, this is probably my second favorite. Hell Awaits would be my first. And, uh, that reminds me, but I didn't put it in this freaking pile. And it's way the fuck over there, so fuck it. My wife got me a digipack of that, and I wanted to show it. And, um, that. oh yeah, so, uh, when I was a kid, uh, you know, I was into all kinds of metal, power metal, but, uh, I got, I had these cassettes, not these, these not cassettes, obviously, but, um, jammed the shit out of these two albums, Keeper of the Seven Gates, of Keys, Part One and Two, um, Gems, absolutely phenomenal albums. German power, um, power metal. So anyway, yeah, uh, reminds me of hot summer nights for some reason. And uh, I got these cassettes at the same time. I know this one came out a year before, but it took a year before I heard of them. So. <laughs> yeah, classic. Well, that's a fucking beautiful. And the uh, last one I'll show is, well, I've got two more. Um, yeah, I'll show these. I didn't know if I was going to show these or not, but I will. Because I'm going to say something that probably pissed some people off. And some of you might agree. Which is 1986. Slayer's Rain and Blood and Megadeth's Rest in Peace. Now I bought these cassettes. Not these, obviously, they're not cassettes, but the cassette version of these back in 87. I was in seventh grade. Goddamn mouse. And uh, listen to the shit out of these two. And the deal is Metallica's Master of Puppets came out about that same time. And um, sorry, these. These two out records right here bury that album. And, you know, Mass Puppet's a good album. <laughs> These shame it, if you, if you ask me. Um, absolutely badass records. So, yep, so that's that. And then the last I'll show uh, reminds me of a buddy of mine. Um, I think we were in 10th grade. When these came out in 1990, I had uh, Judas Priest, Judas Priest, Painkiller, and of course Slayer's Seasons in the Abyss. So, 
Yeah, we, we listened to this shit out of these. We skipped school. There are two of these albums. I think, if I remember right, I bought the cassette of this. So I was, I'm a huge Judas Priest fan. And then he bought this. And then we hide in the attic, wait for his mom to go to work, and then come downstairs and eat cereal and we watch TV or what have you, and, or listen to these two, two records and uh, wore the shit out of them. I, I think I still have all the lyrics to both these albums memorized. If we pretend we're those freaking rock stars and read the lay lyrics while we jammed out to these kids. But uh, anyway, that's it. Hopefully that's, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I didn't really show anything new. I got some new stuff in, but uh, I'm gonna wait till they accumulate before I make a collection update or anything like that. So, um, you all have a good day or evening, wherever you are. Peace.